My name is Stetson Banks from Natural State Comedy, and this is the show where we get to know who's coming to town this week. Our guest this week has performed all over and has worked with the likes of Michelle Wolf, David Tell, Nikki Glaser, and we couldn't be more excited about having her back in Northwest Arkansas. So without further ado, everybody welcome to the show, Shauna Blake. Hey. Hi, y'all. Sean, we're so excited to not only have you on the show, but obviously that means you're coming to Northwest Arkansas again. Uh, we've had you, you know, several times. It's always been a, a a really, really fun time, and we're really excited about having you back. It's one of our first shows back. Uh, we tried to get you in as fast as we could uh, to get things back off on the right foot. So uh, just tell us real quick about, you know, what Northwest Arkansas has been like for you and uh, why you're excited or not excited about coming back. <laughs> I'm not going to make up your mind for you. Oh, I, I'm so upset about <laughs> it. No, I, I'm super excited to come back. Yeah, I, I love Northwest Arkansas. I When I first started doing stand-up, I did, started, I did a lot of shows in Northwest Arkansas because I was kind of living... Um, I'm based out of Tulsa now, but at the time I was living closer to the Arkansas border in Oklahoma in a crappy little town. I mean, it's lovely. <laughs> Anyone coming from, from Pecola, come to Northwest Arkansas. I know there's nothing to do in Pecola, so drive to Northwest Arkansas and come see me. Um, so that's where I was living before. And so I was kind of halfway ish between Northwest Arkansas and yeah. Tulsa. So I got to do a lot of both and, um, a lot of my first like really big shows were in Northwest Arkansas. And so I really, I love Northwest Arkansas. I love the area. I like coming there and uh, I'm excited. To That's come awesome. Back. I know you got a lot of fans here, so they'll be happy to see you come doing a headlining set. And uh, so we're going to have a yeah. whole lot of fun. We got a bunch of great locals on the show with you and everything. So, and I think uh, on the Saturday yeah. show, we have a, a few little rock comics coming in uh, to, to open up. So cool. bear and, uh, and uh, Zane Love Ladies, so it's going to be a lot of fun, uh, cool. but yeah, we'll, get, we'll talk about the shows here in just a second. Uh, first of all, let's just catch up. How are you doing? Uh, how was your 2020? Uh, did you make it through it uneventful? or I made it through. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm still here, I think. Um, I didn't, it wasn't totally uneventful. I mean, there was a lot of, of stuff happening at home, uh, and by stuff, I mean, I got um, that thing that we're not supposed to even say the word anymore. No, I got, I had Yikes. COVID during, during the, I mean, I had it like when it was popular. <laughs> okay. Like when it was the, like the height of it. You're like a um, virus, a virus hipster. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it was like when it was cool, it wasn't really before it was cool, yeah. but it's not like it wasn't it all now. played out. I mean, how embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like <laughs> we're over this. It's like we're still actively terrified. Um, yeah, and so when I say that, it makes it seem like I was just, like, throwing caution to the wind and, like, yeah. partying. I, that was not what was happening, <laughs> I promise. I just – I stayed at home, but uh, I went out in the world a little bit for the essential things, and I did get no. COVID. And so it was terrible because when I got it, um, at the same time that I got sick, the air conditioning at my oh, place went no, out. And this summer, and this was, like, yeah. Oh my June. gosh. This is Oklahoma, June. This is a year ago. And it was a thousand oh. degrees. It was, it was literally like 90 degrees in, in the house. Like it just got, and no one could come fix it yeah. because and I was you sick. Couldn't, so I you was couldn't just, go anywhere. You couldn't go get a hotel or yeah. Oh no, my gosh. No, I was just, I was just melting. I was just melting into the floor. Like luckily uh, a comic friend of mine in Tulsa, like dropped, dropped off a little AC yeah, like, window unit. cooler yeah. thingy at, at the, at the door. So I could like oh. get out and be like, okay. Um, but yeah, it was, it was terrible. I was melting. I, was, I had a hot girl summer. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It was, it was fine. It was fine. In the, in the most um, traditional sense. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. In the most literal yes. physiological <laughs> sense, I had that. Um, and I also lost my sense of smell and taste, I, which was yes, terrible. Yes, I saw about this. Yeah. Was, uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, posted, yeah, you, you get to, <laughs> I had to take take full comic advantage Yeah, you did some uh, scientific <laughs> experimentations with it. Yes. Yes, I did. I did. I wanted to see for the people, for science, for research. I was like, Dr. Fauci, I got you. Like, I'm here, I'm here for you. I'm doing the, the important work, which was trying to decide if you could, if I could tell what was water and what was vodka. Um, when I, 
<laughs> when I had no taste. Um, so it was, and I also just like would bite into a grapefruit like an apple just because it was oh, something I could do. I was like, I feel like I have, I have nothing. I feel oh, nothing. Wow. Um, so yeah, that was very exciting. That was, that was my eventful time so of, of lockdown. everything, uh, everything's back to normal now, uh, taste and scent wise. Mostly, honestly, I'm like one of those poor, sad, long mm-hmm. hauler people as far as my sense of smell. Like it's honestly, it's been a year. It's still I've not heard this. really yeah, bad. I've heard this from my, it's and not, not only is it not as strong, but it's like off, like you smell weird things that aren't don't you know not there you know like a smoke and yeah yeah yeah, smoke when there's no fire and stuff like that i've heard yeah i had um like i haven't had really luckily i haven't had like a lot of like everything smells bad or like i've heard of really Mm -hmm. horrible things of course i was like googling it immediately like freaking out like web MDing, trying to save myself and I was like having a meltdown. I was like, what if one day I want to have a baby and then I can't smell its head and I don't bond with it and I leave it out on the street. I was like, what am I talking about? Like, I'm not even (laughs) like, I don't even want to have children. Like I'm worried about this hypothetical future child, not like bonding with it because I can't smell its head. And I'm like, I don't know. When you're, I really started spiraling. When you're trapped in the heat and can't go out anywhere, you have to, I mean, you just have to go down these avenues. So, I mean, that's the human condition. That's the, so. that's the avenue I went down. So, yeah, I mean, like, there are benefits when I'm walking my dog and he goes to the bathroom. It's not as bad to, to pick it up because I can't really smell yeah. it. But, you know, there are trade-offs. Yeah. So it's, well, I'm uh, yeah. I'm glad so, you're mostly recovered and, and hope hopefully you keep getting that direction. Uh, so yes. yeah, it Thank was you. it was interesting though to see your uh, your uh, taste test and everything. Those were hilarious, and uh, you're you're such a great social media follow. If anybody out there is not already following you, I would definitely recommend it. Go out <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, yeah, all that. the places. Uh, <laughs> follow you. Uh, you you have a lot of great uh, content on there, but you know. Everybody talks about like doom scrolling now. I know I do it. You just just keep going. There's just so much negative stuff. And you know, uh, today uh, we'll we'll pull back the curtain. We're recording this a week ahead of time. But you know, today the, the big news story is uh, the Amy Schumer lookalike trucker. Uh, have you seen this on Twitter? <laughs> no, uh, so, no, I have so not. A, 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 a truck stop posted a post about this, and this lady does. She looks exactly like. I'm 95% like Amy Schumer and she won, uh, or she cashed in a bunch of, uh, 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 bonus points, you know, travel rewards points to, uh, buy a monster energy fridge. And, uh, I mean, there's just so many things about it. She, uh, she has a teardrop tattoo on her cheek and, uh, they came back to clarify later oh, wow. that, uh, she didn't actually murder anybody. She accidentally fell asleep at the wheel and, and killed a pedestrian and that's in their memory. And, uh, there's, <laughs> yeah. So oh, there's, there's so many things to it. Uh, her shirt, we, we keep it somewhat clean on, on, uh, this podcast, uh, but it says trucking and effing, but it doesn't say effing. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. yeah. So there's so many wow. things. And then, of course, I, I told, I was telling somebody about it. I was like, there's no way it can't, it's just too good to be real. And of course it was, I don't know what part of it isn't real, but the, but the account that posted originally turned out to be a, a parody account of a fake truck stop. So oh, I don't know how much of it is still an amazing bad. picture. Uh, I don't know how much it was staged <laughs> and I'm sure by times comes out, everybody's be that's like, you know, 10 years ago, old news, but you know, there's just, <laughs> there's just so much stuff on, on social media. Uh, like I said, yours is a breath of fresh air. Often, uh, I see every month. I'm I'm assuming every month. I don't clock it. You know, check it off like a clockwork. But it comes. Well, you should. <laughs> I know this every month. Uh, you do come out with your your best of thirty second dance clips. You have like a a, a, a mm-hmm. clip, a one second clip from each day of the month compiled together, and it's mm-hmm. you just dancing through the yes. month. And uh, that's that's always a, a delight to see, and uh, you always having a bunch of fun. You get your dog sometimes, and uh, those are just yes. it's such good. I mean, it's what social media should be. And uh, so, what's what? Where did you kind of oh, come thanks. up with that idea, and, and how long have you been doing it? Yeah. So I've been doing that, I think about two years now. Like there, there was a while that I started doing it that I did not yeah. post it. Cause I was like, nobody <laughs> wants to see this. Cause I didn't want to add to the horror show online. Yeah. Like this is the doom <laughs> This is a nightmare. What is happening? Um, but then I started posting it probably like a year ago, like really when quarantine yeah. started. Cause I was just kind of like, that was on my little, like 
20 for 20 or 19 for 19, 2019, like a bucket list of the year, which 2020 was like travel. Oh, stupid. So sad. So sad. Um, but it was like one of those things where I was just like, I like to dance. I'm not like very good at it at all, but I really enjoy it. It's very fun. And so I was like, if I commit to doing something like every day, then I will do it more often. And like, I was like, if I record myself, then I will have a reason like a look, check it off the list, you know, like do it. And so I thought it was fun. And then it did did turn out ridiculous. And so I was like, yeah, I'm going to post this. I'm going to post this online. And that way it's like, you know, put it out in the world. People want to want to see that I can dance. <laughs> everyone can. So that's like everyone should do it because it's a lot of fun every day to just to be. I mean, you have to have so. like an alarm set to remember. Or you just just or are you, are you dancing like seven times a day and you're just picking the best one? I mean, how what's the process like here? Okay, so I'll tell you <laughs> that I usually try. I was like, I'm going to do it every day. That's how I'm going to do it. And then I forget yeah. or I like get behind or I'm like, whatever. And then I do sometimes have to make it up and do like seven <laughs> in a day. <laughs> but I, we, and then ch- I do it all the change wardrobe and changes pretend. and everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm peeling back. We're peeling back the curtain. Wow. Okay, I will wow. be honest with you, this Northwest is, Arkansas. This is breaking news. I mean, I know, I know that you heard it here first. Uh, who's coming to town? A liar. That's who's coming to town. A liar. A liar who lies to you all and pretends like I'm dancing every day. And sometimes I'm dancing eight songs in one day with outfit changes to make it look like it was multiple days. Some lies are worth it. I mean, it, it's it, worth it. It's worth it yeah. to me. Okay. It feels worth it to me. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, wow. Yeah. yeah. This is uh this is <laughs> earth shattering news and you heard it here first. I didn't know this was gotcha <laughs> journalism that I, I got myself by admitting to this sham. My, my dances are a sham. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we, we accomplished what we needed to do there. I got you on that. So, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and I'm move glad. on to our, our weekly questions. Uh, you're obviously a comedian. You travel a lot. Uh, you got a lot of experiences on the road. Uh, I know the craziest things always happen out there. Uh, so go ahead and tell us a little bit about life on the road. Uh, here's a few questions for you. Uh, your first one is, what is your favorite meal that you've ever had on the road? Favorite meal. Okay, so th- I want to say like some sort of crazy like French fries covered in gravy mm. and cheese conglomerate <laughs> that I found on the side of the road in a cool place because that's – that's yeah. my more style of who I actually am. But I want to be honest with you after I lied about the <laughs> dancing. I want to be honest with you. It's going to sound a little like fancy or braggy, but I have to be honest with you. My favorite meal I've ever had on the road, I got to do a casino show in Thackerville, Oklahoma with David Tell and Jeff Ross, which was insane. It was like the the craziest show, the best show I've ever gotten to do probably. It's right up there. And afterwards, they were like, let's go eat dinner. And they, of course, are, you know, getting whatever they want because they're the best. And everyone's like, yeah, whatever you want. And so I got to go eat with them. And we had like the this fancy steak where they're like, look at this baby cow that we (laughs) killed or whatever. And like, sure, (laughs) this was its home. And here's where it slept. And it was really good. (laughs) I feel like it was just like, it was like the most insane. I'm like, where am I? What's happening? This is the best food I've ever eaten that I didn't have to pay for for sure. That that makes it taste even better. Yeah, because I mean, really I mean, if you were does. paying 150 out of your pocket, you would be thinking about that every bite you take. It has it has to yeah, be free. Yeah, I really know. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, that's that's a great. Yeah, that's a so, great one. That was the best one. Well, for things sure. aren't always yeah. uh, peachy and perfect down the road. Tell us your sketchiest or craziest thing that you've encountered down the road. Oh Lord, <laughs> I it's <laughs> I don't know that this one's sketchy, but it's certainly one I still think about sometimes, like going to a new town when people don't know you and you know you're trying to like blend and be a comic and all this fun stuff. And I remember like several years ago when I was fairly new to to stand up, um, me and my boyfriend at the time went to Colorado to do stand up and we were like, Yeah, we're gonna drive out there, road trip it and it was very fun. And we went to do the show and this person did not know us, like just kind of knew we're both Mm -hmm. stand-ups and we're going to get on this show. And he asked for our credits and we both gave them to him at the time. Like, this is what we've done. And he, he was like, okay, cool. And he introduced 
him, my boyfriend, with his credits that he gave him. And I was like, cool. And then he introduced me as now we have a female Aww. comic coming up. That it's a girl doing comedy. And I was like, what? Why? Wow. <laughs> Why did you ask me? I could have told you my credit was I was a girl. If that's all that you wanted to say. And like, I was just like, what is happening out here? I thought Colorado yeah. was like the progressive no place. Like it was like, cool. Mm. Um, so that was great. And then on the same, the same vein, I will say another time I went to do this show in this like, duck saloon in some tiny town in Oklahoma and I got heckled for like the first time um, because I know I hadn't been heckled at that point and the a guy heckling us I don't know if I can say all the words on this podcast but said hey show us your yeah. we're with you <laughs> tits yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was like that's later <laughs> sir maybe but not <laughs> that's not what we're here for right now <laughs> oh man so. yeah there's uh yeah. there's no room for that so uh i'll uh <laughs> yeah i was i'm surprised to hear that out of colorado too but uh yeah it happens everywhere yeah. it turns out there's uh there's creeps everywhere so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, that's one thing. What what yeah. do you learn on the road? Yeah. Everywhere. There are creeps <laughs> everywhere. So yeah, I don't I don't I don't have any super exciting I think I just block all the like crazy, yeah. you know chaos on the road things maybe because i i'm sure that i have some that are more traumatizing than those but that's, <laughs> we'll leave them that's what i could remember yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave them <laughs> there's more time there's more time yeah worse things can yeah. happen to me oh, yeah, so we're, that's we're just getting started so <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly uh so all all travelers that i've come across they always have you know that one pro tip uh that you know you haven't thought of or maybe maybe don't think about enough that makes traveling easier easier um do you have you have a pro mm -hmm. tip for us i do i do have a pro tip get yourself a bag bitch <laughs> bag bitch that's, okay <laughs> that's my pro tip yeah like get a friend <laughs> that you can make go with you and carry your bags <laughs> so it can <laughs> so is is is, yeah. is it customary to uh, pay for the bag bitch's expenses I say if whatever I'm getting for free, you're getting for okay. free. That's what I say. <laughs> so you're drinking on my tip. No, it is. Yeah. So that's that was that's my tip. All the best times I've traveled, I've been with a friend or a partner um, who I say carry all my stuff because I got a lot of shoes um, and I got a lot of outfits because when I'm traveling on the road, I've got like, I don't know what I'm going to wear. Uh, and that's important that you have someone else to carry all that stuff for okay. you. So, so, so yeah, what, what I'm taking away from, from your travel so far is you like steak and lobster and personal chauffeurs. Mm -hmm. So those, those are your tips so yeah, far. It's hard. <laughs> uh, life on the road as a, yeah, was, as a weathered road dog comedian is just really hard. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. Yeah. I mean, just like uh, yeah. just like uh, like in a Nirvana back in the the eighties, you know, on, on the road, you know, in the yeah. van and everything. Just very similar experience. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like the the toughest times are the best times when you look back. You know, it's that, that's where it's we're what at. Keeps you that's grounded. what it's like yeah, out here it's what for keeps us. You grounded. Yeah, exactly. It's what keeps me connected to the people. You know. <laughs> awesome well, we're so excited to have you this week uh would you like to go ahead and plug anything you got uh any projects any any where people can find you online any any other things like that yeah yeah so i have a website that i very rarely update but if people go to it i will uh shaunablake.com and so that's how i know if you go i will update if if you come yeah. i will build it if you come that's what they say um that's that's the uh that's the yeah. whole thing and yeah at shauna pants 24 7 on instagram to see the dance party videos um and shauna blake on facebook and twitter so yeah follow me on the things i have been doing getting back out there in the world That's so awesome. yeah everybody yeah, get out there me. and let's build that digital field of dreams um <laughs> that's right exactly right. lastly and most importantly if i am someone in northwest arkansas and i am looking for something to do this weekend why shauna should i come out and see you 
Because you will learn a lot more life tips from my set than you've even learned here today, <laughs> that's right? A, like, that's a I mean, tall you've heard bar. how to yeah. travel. It's I and I know, and like I'm, I'm putting it out there because I feel confident I can back it up. I can give. I have so much. Like people are like, I'm coming to to laugh, and I'm like, you're coming to learn about life. The laughs <laughs> are just the icing. You're gonna yeah. learn. <laughs> it's, yeah, that, that's superfluous. That's a bonus, okay? But you're getting life lessons from my hard experiences that I've had to go through. Well, that yeah. that I can't think of a better reason to come out. So I mean, it's like uh, it's like finding something yeah. entertaining on PBS. I mean, you just get the both yeah, both like, sides of it. Watch a TED Talk? No, <laughs> no. come to yeah. this show and you will learn so much. That's more. amazing. So. Well, I, I can't think of anything that could that made me want to come out more. So everybody else should be coming out to see right. you. It's gonna be so much fun. Uh, Friday night, Nomads Trail Side for Off the Trails Comedy Show that starts at eight thirty p.m. And then Saturday night, if you're further up north in uh, Springdale at Black Apple Hard Cider, will also be at eight thirty p.m. for Saturday night comedy. Uh, we're gonna have a bunch of great comedians uh, getting the nights kicked off, and then, like I said, Shauna's gonna bring it home, entertain and educate us all so it's gonna be a lot of fun right. everybody thank you for joining us again go to naturalstatecomedy.com for more info and we'll see you next week